Hi guys, I have a really, really quick tip for you guys today and this is going to be all about hair and hair coloring. So the other day I decided to dye my hair a, the color was light ash brown and after I colored it, when it dried up, I wasn't too happy with the color because I have a lot of light, um, very light colors in my hair, like uh, chunks of light colors that are blended in with a darker color and so when I dyed it light ash brown it kind of just made everything darker and I didn't want that it didn't look good and I was really lazy to go to the store to buy hair dye plus I didn't really want to spend more money so I researched some ways to dye your hair kind of naturally or without using too much chemicals and I came across something that I tried out and I absolutely fell in love with it to the point that I think this is what I'm going to be using from now on. I don't really think I'm going to go to... I don't really think, you know, like in between my hair dyeing, um, I think I'm going to use this more and then use the box dyes a little less. I'm not going to completely throw the box dyes out because I do love the color payoff that uh, some of them give. But this one works so good and I'm so in love with the results and I want to show you guys what I'm talking so about. So I mixed one part hydrogen peroxide with baking soda and then you mix that together and it will look like when you mix together the hair dye in the box it's like this uh, liquidy uh, consistency it's the same exact consistency that you get with these two mixed together what I did is mix these two together and then um, stir it in a bowl and you take little chunks of your hair and then I just used my fingers and I just put it on my hair like this and then I just left I put in a bun and then I put a shower cap over it and I waited for about an hour and if you can go outside in the Sun it'll turn lighter which is a good thing. When my hair dried, I fell in love with the results. It, I only put it on like chunks of my hair, like this much chunks or thicker chunks in the back. And it gave me really, really pretty tones. It made it um, probably two shades lighter. And also another thing is if you, like say you get out of the shower and your hair is still a little bit damp or even if your hair is completely dry, um, just put on a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in the areas that you want to dye it or if you want to dye your full head of hair Just put it in a spray bottle uh, a darker spray bottle because hydrogen peroxide as soon as it touches the light It loses its effect just spray it all over your hair if you want like the full hair uh, If you want to color or lighten all of your hair just spray it on your full hair This is really good for doing ombre and um, I hope that this helps any of you that are trying to dye your hair but you don't want to try the box dyes and you want to kind of go a little bit slower because this won't give you dramatic results but it will slowly over time um, make your hair lighter and lighter I am NOT a professional I color my own hair just doing my own research on YouTube and online and so that's my method that's what I do because I don't want to go to the salon and spend so much money because I do have long hair and that's cost a fortune and I'd rather do it myself because most of the time I've noticed that when I color my hair myself the results are just more better for me I like them better that is my tip for today is baking soda and hydrogen peroxide to lighten your hair and I thank you guys so much for watching I will talk to you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because I do come out with new videos every single week bye